Hello, this is Scott of Scott's Computer Repair. Welcome to none of my Windows 10 installations. This is going to be the installation for an HP 2000 laptop. So basically on this, it's got Windows 8. Most of the HP 2000 laptops have Windows 8 already on them. Uh, basically, you won't need the CD key. The only thing you would need just this disc right here. That's it. Just this disc. Okay. Once you pop it in, get it ready to go. Uh, basically, you want to go ahead after you get the after you got to remind you this will erase any like pictures, documents that will is that important to you. You might want to back them up to an external drive if you can. And uh, if you got music or movies, if you have the space for it, go ahead. Um, if not, don't bother them. Just re-download them again. I recommend this will take care care of any performance issues or virus issues that you do have or not. Um, another thing. This will erase the factory reset on this laptop, so you will not able to factory reset it back to Windows 8. So you're stuck with Windows 10 with it if you do this. So the recovery partition will be wiped out and everything. So I would just take it over before you do this if you want. But this I recommend to install how you should install Windows 10 on here. Again, the CD product key is not required. The product key is built in on the system, which you boot from the CD. It should install, so you can start going through the steps of installing Windows 8, uh, 10. So, after you get all that done, you're going to need, to, if you want a factory reset back, you're going to have to go over the factory reset of Windows 10. I do have a video on the thing, on my videos. So, basically, once you're ready, you can go ahead, if you haven't already done it, you want to go ahead and shut it down. Okay, as soon as it's powered off, uh, if you're all set, you're gonna when you first turn it on, you're gonna want to tap the escape key right away uh, until it says pause startup, um, or it might say something different for you. But it, after that's popped up, just stop hitting escape, and um, you'll wait till the boot, boot menu come up. If it doesn't come up right away, try it again, because sometimes I, sometimes I have to repeat to, to, to just try to get it going. All right, go ahead and turn it on, and start tapping escape. Like that, why don't you hit see that? So stop. Okay, you want to go to boot device options, so F9. You want to select the internal, internal CD DVD ROM drive. UFI, you want to go ahead and select that, hit enter, and hit any key on the keyboard to start the CD. And I said you won't need the product key for this, because it's already built into the system. Okay, once you get to the screen, you want to make sure everything's correct, like your language to install and time and currency format, and your keyboard or layout method. Uh, no words on default, no words is correct, but you always want to make sure. Uh, if you're ready, go ahead and click next and click install now. As I said, you should not need the product key to do this. Okay, go ahead and click the uh, Accept the license terms and click next and click custom install Windows only events. Okay, you select like each individual partition to delete them. Okay, at this point, I'd make it just remind you if you delete the recovery partition, I mean, it doesn't matter, you should delete it anyways because you're not going to recover it after you install Windows 7, anyways. So I re go after you delete this, you won't able to recover it back to Windows 8. Okay, just forewarning before you start deleting anything. Could make sure you consider if you want to do this or not. So, all right, just let you know. The only way you're going to factory restore it, you're going to have to factory restore it on Windows 10. There's a factory restore Windows 10 video on my sec video section. So let's get started here. All right, let's select the first one. Click delete. 
click OK. Again, next one down, click Delete, click OK. Select the next one, click Delete, click OK. Select the next one, click Delete. Okay. Okay. Again, select the next one. Click delete. Click OK. Then click delete. It's like the next one again. Click delete and click OK. Okay. This is what it should look like after you delete all partitions from the hard drive. It will say drive zero on the indicated space. After that's done, you want to click new. Click apply and click OK. That should create a partition for your OS and your cache. And so that's going to include something else too. So that's, all, that's fine. That's what it should be. All right. After that's all done, that's what it should look like. After you're ready to go, just click next. Okay, at this point right now, you want to look for your Wi-Fi connection if you have one. Um, basically, it's usually the strongest strength usually in the list. It's like I got two over here, and I got actually I got two routers here, so I, I, they're both mine anyways. Um, <clears throat> you want to click the one you have, click the one you of yours once you find it, and you want to go ahead and enter your security key. And um, usually your security key is located on the router or modem, or if you, it's a custom, if you remember, or you have it written down somewhere. So, yeah, go ahead and put exactly how your security key is. And after you enter it, just click Next. That way you'll be connected to the internet and stuff. So you get your updates that you need. Okay, go ahead and click Use Express Settings.
Okay, when you get to here, you, uh, go ahead and sign into your Microsoft account if you got one. If not, go ahead and create one. Um, if you don't want to do neither of those, just go ahead and click skip this step. Go ahead and enter the name of your choosing. After that, just click next. Password is not required. You know, if you want, you want one, go ahead and put one in. Okay, that's, that's how you basically install Windows 10 on that way. Um, basically, with the first thing, you got a few things to check out to get to this point. You got to find out what drivers it might need, devices and stuff like that, needs to be installed. One way to find that out, uh, you want to go down to Start, go to Settings, go to Devices, click Devices. You scroll down to the bottom, go to Device Manager, click that. Oh, we got a couple of devices. Windows updates might pick them up. If not, I will provide the links to those drivers in the description below and let you know. Uh, let's see what the display got. And it looks like the display adapter also needs a driver. It doesn't show it's missing, but it's a generic driver. It needs to be, it's, we want the actual driver for this. So, if Windows Updates does not pick them up, I will provide the links below in the description. All right, okay. Then you wanna exit all this. You wanna click Start. You wanna run the Windows Updates, see, so we can get the updates done. So, go click Settings, click up, uh, scroll down a bit, or if you can see it automatically on the screen, just go to update and security, click that, and you want to click check for updates. And it will be updates, trust me. Right now, you can see it's searching for a display driver right here, right now. Uh, it probably will find it automatically, so. Is this it? Yep, I found it found updates. Like usual. So basically at this point, um, get the updates all done. You want to repeat this process again over and over again until there's no more updates. Okay? When you keep on checking for updates. To once that's done. Um, I will provide the links below if the drivers are if the drivers need to be need to be found. So the links will be to that driver. So, okay. Sorry about that phone call. All right. Basically, after you get the updates done, uh, as I said, I will provide the links below for the drivers if it's required. Um, pretty much that's it right now at this point. If you got any questions, leave your comments below. I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Usually, I'm right out, right there, right now, right away. I'm pretty fast in getting back to you. Um, if not, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. But if you find this video helpful in any way, please like and subscribe. Uh, as I said, just leave a comment below uh, if you need help. All right. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And just remember, just try to get those updates done and, and get those drivers if they need be. All right. Thank you.